Hello, welcome to our mathematics tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to solve for y in this Olympiad exam question. We are asked to solve for y in y to the power of 4 minus 16 equal to 0. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with friends and colleagues. Thanks so much. Now let's solve this question. To solve this question, we will simplify y to the power of 4. And remember that y to the power of 4 can, this, can be simplified to give us y to the power of 2 all to the bracket of 2 minus 16. And this will be equal to 0. So we will have uh, y to the power of 2 square minus 4 to the power of 2 is equally 16 and this will be equal to 0. Now we have an algebraic term such that we will have, we will have uh, a square minus b square this will be equal to a plus b and then a minus b. If we apply this term to the main equation, which is this, we'll have our a to be equal to y square, and then we'll have our p to be equal to 4. So the above equation can now give us y square all squared minus 4 square will now be equal to y squared plus 4 y squared minus 4 and this will be equal to 0. So we we'll simplify because we have two equations equating to 0. So we we'll have our y squared plus 4 to be equal to 0 or we can have a y square minus 4 equating to 0. Now let's solve these two equations separately. We have a y square plus 4 equal to 0. Now let's subtract 4 from both sides. We have y square plus 4 minus 4 and this will be equal to 0 minus 4. If we do that, negative 4 will clear negative 4. We'll be left with y square to be equal to negative 4. So if we simplify this, we are going to have uh, to find the value of y, we're going to take the square root of both sides. If we take the square root of both sides, this will give us the square root of negative 4 because it's a negative number. And this will clear this, and then we'll have our y to be equal to the square root of 4 multiplied by negative j. So our y will be equal to square root of 4 multiplied by the square root of negative j. And uh, from a complex number, the square root of negative j will be equal to j. So the solution to that part will now give us a y to be equal to 2j. And that's the first solution to that. That's the first solution to that equation. Now let's consider the second part. If we consider the second part, we are given that uh, y square minus 4 is equal to 0. So let's add 4 to both sides. We'll have y square minus 4 plus 4 equal to 0 plus 4. So we did that in order to clear 4 from the left hand side and if we do that we'll have our y square 
will now become 0 plus 4 will give us 4. So we take the square root of both sides. We'll have our y square, square root of y square equal to plus or minus the square root of 4. So square will clear square root and then we'll have our y to be equal to plus or minus 2. So we have a full value for y to all be equal to our y will be equal to 2j plus 2 and then a negative word 2. Now let's check to see if our result is correct. Remember the equation that was given to us initially y square minus 16 equal to 0. So let's check if the values we got for y is correct. We are told that y to the power of 4 minus 16 should give us 0. So if we take the value of y to be equal to plus or minus 2, which we got, remember this is an imaginary solution, not a real solution. So we will use it in testing if the solution is right. So we'll use the real solution. So if we have that, we'll have uh, plus or minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 16. Will it give us 0? Now if we take the plus or minus, the value of plus or minus the value of plus or minus uh, 2 to the power of 4 if we use negative 2 if we use negative 2 we'll still get the value of uh, 2 times 2 4 4 times 2 8 8 times 2 16 it will still give us a positive 16 and if we use a positive 2 we're still going to have a positive 16 because minus 2 times minus 2 will give us plus 4. Plus 4 multiplied by minus 2 will give us minus 8. Minus 8 multiplied by minus 2 will give us minus plus 16. So if we use the negative, we are going to still arrive at the positive 16. So this will give us 16 minus 16. And this will be equal to zero. So you see that our value y equal to plus or minus two truly satisfies that exponential equation and above here. So what does that tell us? That tells us that there is only one real solution to that exponential equation, and the only real solution is plus or minus 2. The second, the third solution is an imaginary solution and can most likely be neglected. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, uh, share this video with friends and colleagues. See you in our next videos. Thanks so much.